Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, right, well, so today is basically a fitting and stripping day. We've got a problem with the brakes. I've got to get investigate what that's all about. And I've had a ferret round underneath the uh, the car. And with all the the brake pipes that have been replaced, um, I've literally I've got uh, one little leak, which I've got to try and uh, establish it's coming from. It's unfortunately it's dribbled brake fluid all over my freshly painted rear axle beam. So I'm gonna have to give that a little bit of a coat of paint again. But um, that should be an easy fix. I've dried it all off. We're going to have a look at what that's, where that's leaking from tomorrow. Um, I'm going to have a go at fixing these wheel arches uh, on today. Find a way of actually dealing with that. And um, just have a look at a few other little bits and pieces. Putting some stuff back in the boot area and things like that. Okay, so... Um, trying to fit these now, I bought a set of these off of the internet they were like uh, 30 odd quid and they came with a whole load of clips which is ideal really however um, if you've done repairs on the rear quarter panel what you'll find is that the clips that they've provided which slide into here don't actually reach through um, the repair work that you might have done now what I've done to to compensate for that is to fashion some rather long or a little bit longer 10 mil bolts um, and I've machined the head on the bolts so they actually slip underneath that clip retainer just in there like that so they sit in there like this and they give us a little bit of extra reach when we're actually bolting up and we can do, use this with a standard 10 mil bolt a um, bit of a dodge but I thought it was quite uh, quite effective and uh, I'm gonna be putting this one on the rear quarter panel so we'll have a look at that when that's actually been finished And here we are, we've now got this on, we've got a nice edge all the way round um, and it's well secure and it's not going to be coming off. I've taken the liberty of actually putting a fixing underneath here as well as it was, um, there, there is a securing point just behind here um, where I've had to repair the cylinder and I can't put a bolt in that so I've secured it where it can't be seen. I'm quite chuffed with that. Okay so we've tackled the, uh, the wheel arch issues. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a crack at these wheels. So um, I'm going to cut the video and it's going to interrupt uh, at the point where we started to repair the wheels on the car uh, with some amazing results, I must say. Here we go. Okay, so I finally relented and I've taken the, well, two of the wheels up to a local tyre specialist here in Leighton Buzzard and um, I've had the, uh, the tyres taken off. One of the tyres, incidentally, on this car was nearly 11 years old, so... Um, pretty much uh, a wise move with that one. But anyway, what I've got now is just basically two alloy wheel rims without the valves on. Um, I'm gonna give them a coat of gunk, get all the crap and musk, muck off that we can, and then set about trying to get these wheels back to some sort of semblance of a uh, nice looking alloy wheel. Let's have a look at what we've got. So this is, uh, this is the wheels. Um, this one I have already given a coat of gunk to and then uh, literally just give it a rub with a brush and uh, jetted it off, get the worst of the, the muck off. Um, and I'm now just about to go and have a go at this one. Okay, so what I've got now is one really clean wheel. Um, it's, on, it's in the process of drying out. So what I need to do, remove all of the weights, um, all the bits and pieces on it, and then we're gonna use um, various wheels and sanders to actually get, I'm going to start off with the inside and then move to the outside, get that all sorted. So we've now got one wheel which is all cleaned, specifically um, and most importantly I've made sure that the beading edge is clear and free from damage and has no nothing left on it. Inside uh, at the back edge we're only going to uh, just give this cursory colouring but um, that's now all clean, free of burrs, free of any muck, marks or anything like that. And again, the, the edge, again, make sure that the edge is not damaged um, so we don't end up with any leaks. And I'm now going to give this a coat of primer on the inside uh, to start and then um, just let that cure off and then we'll have a tackle again at the front, have a look at the front again. And here we are with one all in primer, inside and out, um, it's all been done. Uh, a uniform colour and um, 
three of scabby rust, three of scuffs. Ideal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the inside just a coat of silver, just so it's coloured up, and then a light coat of lacquer. And then we're going to detail the front face. So when we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a guide coat over this face, and then wet and dry flat the face on this so it's as smooth as it can be, and get rid of any of the little imperfections and marks. What I'm going to try and do is this section inside here, I'm going to try and do that in a darker darker shade of grey, like a shadow chrome, um, and with a silver on the top, and a light grey, or a dark grey at the back, and then coat a lacquer over the top. Just see if that works. Okay, so we've got the wheel now primed, and what I've done is I've put a, a guide coat on here, um, just from some old aerosol that I've got, and this basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flat this all away and when this is all gone it should have got rid of you know, we'll be able to see all the scratches and marks and anything that we've got to uh, rectify before uh, our final coat. When this has uh, been all been flatted what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these inner parts in a dark grey and at a later stage I'm going to mask it off around here. So the face can be done in the silver and then with a coat of gloss. Okay, so we've got the wheels flatted. Uh, they've been uh, de-scuffed. I've um, filled in the, the little marks. Now what I've done is I've given these a coat of gloss black, uh, predominantly on the inside in here. I was going to do them in a shade of grey, but it's not actually dark enough. And I'm going to go with what I've got. So I'm going to do black on the inside. So these have got a gloss, gloss black insert in the here, um, and when that's dried, we're going to mask that off. Okay, so here we go. We've got um, this wheel here. I've actually done um, in in the silver with the uh, with a gloss black insert, and it's got a high shine on it already, uh, straight out of the tin wheel silver, which funnily enough I got from Poundland. I don't know how good that actually is. However, there are some slight issues with it. If you look up real close, I've got a little bit of bleed through here where the tape's actually given way. And I'm two minds really what to do there. Um, this one, I've not done that way round. What I thought I'd try and do is do it in silver and then spray the black in. So I'm going to try it a different way, see if we can give you guys a, a better route to it. I can, I can do that. Um, this one, I've got a, a, a small artist brush. I will go around and actually just touch in those bits if I can get away with that. If that looks fine, then that will stay that way. If this way works the best way, then we'll be going with that. But we'll follow that through in a couple of days. But I think that looks absolutely stunning. It's a, um, on, the, on the Jaguars I sell, that kind of setup is the premium end. That's the budget end. And that's premium. That looks very nice. I wonder what it looked like actually on the car. So, um, they're the wheels and quite frankly I'm, I'm rather impressed with the way they've come out. It might not be to everybody's taste, but I've got limited budget and I like that kind of look. So uh, that's good for me and uh, I'm, I'm proud of what we've got there. So, um, one of the issues that we had uh, was with the brakes on the car and if you remember we replaced a lot of the brake lines on it. There's a little bit of a lesson to be learned here because when we were removing the brake pipes out of the way um, on one of the clips we've sprung one of the existing brake pipes actually free and that put a very tiny little hole in it. It's the smallest hole you've ever seen but it was a hole and it was leaking and quite frankly it's taken an age to fix try the patience of a saint and um, but we've got it back up and we've now got a pedal again so um my thanks to matt for that he's uh, been a godsend helped me get that one sorted out really do appreciate it so that's to today's uh, video you know what the rules are if you like what you see and you want to know a little bit more about what's going on then give us a shout um a couple of comments always appreciated uh, or even better is if you subscribe I really like that we're unsupported so um you know, your your support helps uh, i'm not being paid to do this i've got no sponsorship i've got no nothing this is just a man in a garage with an old car and um i'm doing this i love it and uh, but i'm hoping that maybe you can get something out of it so please subscribe press the notification 
uh, icon, so that's a little bell, and you'll get a notification every time I put a new video up. And it could be about this, it could be about something else. Uh, the wife's challenged me to actually make a bin store, so that'll be coming out on another part of my channel, um, out of an old load of pallets, and I've also posted a, uh, a uh, video or two about my Jag. So um, it, things are growing. We look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye-bye.